happy Saturday, guys. Uh, Joe is just finishing up getting ready, but we got a package in the mail from my mother-in-law, Joe's mom, obviously. So Joe is just going to, I'm tongue-tied today, uh, FaceTime his mom and open it with her on the phone. So we're gonna open it together. It's a little anniversary gift. I don't know if I said that. I look like a hot mess today. It was one of those days that I wanted to get ready, but I didn't want to get ready. So I didn't actually really do my hair. Are you FaceTiming your mom? Good night, kisses. You're on the vlog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, YouTubes. First time I've ever been on it. No, you've been on it before. Um, That's true. When you were at our house. Well, she's never been, like, a subject on the camera. <laughs> now you're on the vlog. Oh, now I am, right? It's <laughs> Joseph and Brittany's mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It smells like mom. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a book about stories of... Um, married couples. I thought you might enjoy those stories because they're very sentimental and spiritual. Uh-huh. Cool. Nice. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That's really pretty. Oh, wow. Is that an engagement thing? Yeah. That's like putting their wedding ring on your wife's hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's super awesome. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, there's something on the bottom. Happy anniversary, 10 years, love mom. Aww. Always and forever. <laughs> hey, them and nunners. Come on, get this. <laughs> the <laughs> the Melina wasn't able to get in oh. with to get a cut because they didn't have an opening for oh. her, so she was the only dog that didn't get groomed. Okay, look at mommy. The Melina. So. The Melina, you look like a garbage rat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's now like nine o'clock at night. <laughs> uh, we've just had one of those like super chill, super lazy weekends, which. You gotta have those every now and then. Uh, but it's meant that I haven't really pulled up the camera uh, very often today. But I am preparing a little date with Joe. Number one, I wanted to have like a little romantic date with him. I need to remember to do like little small things for each other here and there. Number two, I have a bucket list I'm trying to cross off. I have like two weeks. And so this little date tonight will hopefully cross off two if not three of my bucket list items. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go out in the backyard and have a little midnight picnic and I'm gonna make some treats and we're just gonna have a little picnic in the backyard and watch the stars and hopefully I see a shooting star because then I'd be able to cross off three bucket list items. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a little romantic evening picnic in the backyard. Number one, I am making brownies. You know, just a box mix. I don't like to get too fancy. And then some popcorn. We're just gonna pop some popcorn and have it with some Martinelli's sparkling cider with some brownies and a blanket and the fire and the stars and each other. Doesn't that just sound romantic? So I'm gonna start on the brownies. Okay, so I need an egg. Got my egg. Quarter cup of water. Let's see if this is one third cup. So I don't have to open another one. One third cup of oil. One egg. Brownie batter is like the best batter. And then I would say cookie dough. Cake butter isn't necessarily that good. But brownie batter is like, dude, where it is at? I kind of just make brownies for the batter. Mmm, did you smell all that chocolate? <sighs> it's the smell of happiness right there. Shh. Oh yeah. I always feel bad that my vlogs are like so centered around food, but I am just such a foodie. I love food. <laughs> Obviously my vlogs have to reflect my love for Joe, and my dogs, and my family, and my friends, and for good food. And then we have all of this left over for us. And don't talk to me about raw eggs. I've been doing this my whole life and I'm fine. I don't normally do that big of a bite though. I just how you spend a Saturday night. Look in the bowl. So I have the popcorn, the brownies, the sparkling cider, the cups. Now I just need to grab Joe and grab the blanket. I'll grab the blanket and the drinks in the bowl. Can you grab everything else? Well, hopefully I see a shooting star. If not, we're just doing two of them. 
You excited, honey? Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. Should we turn on the lights right now? Oh. All right, let's do this. Where's the Big Dipper? It's over there. Can we see it? Yeah. I don't see it. It's kind of hard to see the clouds when it's over there. Oh. See this one right here? Mm-hmm. Looks like a W. No. The W's pointing that way. The bottom of the W's this way. Suppose I see it. Looks like an upside down throne. One, oh, I two. think I see it. Yeah, it's like a, pretend it's a chair and it's upside down. Uh-huh. And those two stars at the bottom of the chair. Uh -huh. And then there's the back of the chair, and then there's someone sitting in it. So if you flip that this way, it looks like someone's sitting on a throne. It's called Cassiopeia. Oh, Cassiopeia. This might be a stupid question, but do crickets go away in the fall? Or in the winter? Yeah. Okay. That's one of the reasons why I love summer so much. I love the sound of crickets. Joe has this phone app that you point the phone to the sky and it tells you all of the names of the stars that you're looking at. Move your phone so, I, so they can see. Isn't that cool?